Members of Winona's Levy Park Redesign Committee were able to take their first looks at the proposed plan for a revitalized riverfront park. The committee has been working with the University of Minnesota's Center for Changing Landscapes to rework the park into a showcase for the city. On Tuesday of last week, the committee sat down to walk through the draft plan. Chad Ubel said reactions to the drawings were overwhelmingly positive. The plan that we received certainly gives uh, the community a larger picture, larger context of uh, possibilities within Levy Park uh, for that redevelopment. I think it also um, goes to a larger context of partially going to downtown and some redevelopment ideas for downtown as well. Chairman of the Redesign Committee, Frank Palmeray, said the plan offers a number of possible amenities, all with the purpose of bringing people to the park and ultimately to downtown Winona. Uh, you've got a promenade area, you've got a, um, a cafe area, you've got an entertainment area, you've got an area off of 2nd Street that uh, has a design for a, for a structure that might enhance the um, the, uh, the education about the river. Uh, you've got a bridge coming in in 2017, which is going to connect to the Great Wisconsin Trails that'll bring traffic into that area. I think we're at a time in a crossroad where we need to really be diligent. And I, and I think if we're diligent, we could see that entire downtown area, Levy Park area, and the whole area around there really, really vibrant in the next three to four years. This was not the first attempt to come up with a more functional design for the park. Plans were also drawn up in 2007, but were never implemented. There is one element in the current park that presents a big challenge, the dike wall. The fact of the matter is that as long as you have the wall in the, in the, in the place that it is right now, it prevents from, from great development of the park. Now, that doesn't mean there aren't still some things you can do down at the park. Both Ubel and Pomeroy like that the proposal doesn't need to be implemented all at once, but can be done in stages over time. What's unique about this plan compared to the other plans is that it gives the city the option um, to do some flexible implementation. So what that means is that there is some opportunities to phase the projects. Uh, there are some things that we can do right away. Uh, there are things that we could do, um, you know, three, four years down the road, and there's certainly some things that might be 10 to 15 years down the road. I think we take what the design team has given us and we look at what is the most practical and easiest part to phase in initially, and we do that, and we have one victory there, and then you go to the next one and you try to get a victory there, and you develop the park slowly. The plan's design would create access to the park from Main Street by creating a Main Street landing. That element requires removal of a portion of the dike where the Wilkie once stood and using removable floodgates to protect the city during flood season. Those types of features would require the blessing of the Army Corps of Engineers. Pomeroy believes that a conversation with the Corps needs to take place before any ideas in the proposal are discounted. I think we should at least make an attempt to talk to the, to the Corps and see if the Corps would be amenable in, since it's been over 30 years, close to 40 years, uh, to make changes if the money exists to do that, uh, and at least, at least walk that line. And if we can uh, do that, and if not, uh, there are some other ideas that are a part of the plan, I think, that are, that are good ideas. The committee plans to meet again Tuesday to finish walking through the proposal before setting a date for the public to come look at the plan for a new levy park. So their next step is going to be to review the plan. At that point, we should be through the entire uh, plan and narrative that was provided by the University of Minnesota. Uh, then we're going to, we uh, will have a public uh, open house and forum so the public can come in, review the plan, ask questions. We want certainly the public input um, on this process as well. Um, and then based on the feedback that we get from the public, then the committee will, then, you know, as I always continue to tell the committee, then, then the work's going to really start. Pomeroy believes strides have already been made in making the park a destination through programs like Live at the Levee. You've already got the Live in the Levee committee that's doing a lot down there. I think the vitality and the and, 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 and people being eager to see that, that place more vibrant is there. Uh, now it's a matter of doing other things to make it a place, for, a park for all of the people. Well, the committee only made it partway through the plan last week, and they will meet again Tuesday to finish. Then, as Chad Ubel said, the committee will formulate questions to ask the Army Corps of Engineers to talk about feasibility of making the plans become a reality.